Dr. Jason Saunders here, and today we're gonna to talk about hyperbaric oxygen and the effect of hyperbaric on our immune system. What the last few years have certainly shown us is that the healthier we are going into any type of infection, the more likely we will be able to transition through, fight, and move on past the infection, maintaining and keeping ourselves safe and healthy. There are lots of different tools and lots of different strategies for making sure your immune system is healthy. Today, we're focusing specifically on what hyperbaric's role is in the immune system. And so here's what we know. We know that hyperbaric has a longstanding history on fighting certain infections. We use hyperbaric for gangrene. We use hyperbaric for necrotizing fasciitis. We use hyperbaric for chronic osteomyelitis. And we used hyperbaric for wound care. And part of the reason that we use hyperbaric for wound care is because of its capacity to improve growth factors that stimulate the healing and repair and regeneration of tissue. But another reason that we use hyperbaric in wound care is to keep the microbial environment of that wound at the lowest possible level from pathogens. In other words, most infections that would have a negative effect on our health, pathogens, are anaerobic, meaning they don't like being in an oxygen environment. They thrive in a low oxygen or even a no oxygen environment. In fact, they even cover themselves in these biofilms, which help protect them from treatments like through antibiotic use, but also help to keep the oxygen levels very low so that they can live and thrive in that environment. Hyperbaric has multiple effects on our immune system and multiple effects on our ability to fight infection and then of course repair uh, from any damage from the infection that we had. So let's cover these one at a time. Number one, hyperbaric we know improves white blood cell activation. Your white blood cells use a thing called reactive oxygen species, ROS. Your immune system uses ROS as its ammunition to help fight and kill viruses. And we increase reactive oxygen species as a result of being in a chamber. So as you're in a chamber and the body slowly increases some of this reactive oxygen species, your white blood cells are literally filling up their ammunition so that they are more activated and more ready to fight the next infection that comes your way. Number two, hyperbaric helps to balance the immune system overall. So we know that hyperbaric has a way of helping us reduce the inflammatory cytokines. So reducing inflammatory chemicals and inflammatory um, signaling inside of our body. It also has a way of helping us increase the natural anti-inflammatory chemicals in our body. So we have cytokines that are anti-inflammatory and hyperbaric helps increase those. We have cytokines or chemicals that are inflammatory, hyperbaric helps to lower those. And then there's regulatory cytokines that, that are, their job is to try to keep that balance. And hyperbaric has a way of helping increase the regulatory cytokines as well, helping make sure that there's a healthier balance between the inflammatory and anti-inflammatory systems inside of our body. Hey, if you like this content, please press the like button. When you do that, that helps other people find this video. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to get all the right information in the hands of all the people who need it. So please press the like button if you found this helpful. And if you really like the info and you wanna make sure that you stay on top of what we are releasing every week, hit the subscribe button. You'll get notified as we send out new videos each week. Next, it actually helps to kill the infections in many times, or there's also great synergy between hyperbaric and antibiotic usage. So in many cases where antibiotics are not being effective, whether that's an antibiotic resistant strain of bacteria, or if that's it's sensitive to the uh, antibiotic, however, the antibiotics are just not strong enough, or that the bacteria has covered itself in what's called a biofilm, which makes it very difficult for the antibiotic to penetrate and actually get to the bacteria itself. Hyperbaric has a way of, number one, helping to reduce the strength, the toxicity release, and ultimately help to kill anaerobic infections because anaerobic infections cannot live in a high oxygen environment. Two, they help break down those biofilms, making the bacteria more susceptible to whether it's hyperbaric or traditional treatments like antibiotics. And number three, there's great synergy between hyperbaric oxygen and antibiotics, making it a great synergy for those really tough to fight infections. And you know, one, two punch that really helps knock out some of that infection and get the body stimulating and, um, and back to the road of recovery. Next, most of your probiotic, that's the good, healthy bacteria that live in your body. Most of those are either 
aerobic, meaning they love oxygen, or at least oxygen tolerant, meaning they, they're happy to live in either a low or a high oxygen environment. And so as the high oxygen environment helps to suppress pathogens and anaerobic bacteria, it also creates an environment that helps probiotics really be healthy and thrive. And probiotic, the good bacteria, make up close to 70, 75% of your immune system. And so as you create a healthy environment for the good bacteria to live and thrive, you're also improving their capacity to help protect you. So in summary, hyperbaric will help your white blood cells fight viral infections. It'll create an environment that helps kill anaerobic bacteria. It'll help make the bacteria more susceptible to antibiotics and break down those biofilms that are protecting them. And it helps improve your probiotic environment, which will help the healthy bacteria protect you, fight infection, help you digest your food and supply you with nourishment as well. And so it, there's a multi-therapeutic value to adding hyperbaric in your life from an immune system standpoint and to help your body fight infection. Hope this information was helpful. See you next time. So whether you're a chiropractor or a naturopath or an acupuncturist or a DO or even an MD, but you're looking at hyperbarics through this lens, the lens that I'm describing, which is applying hyperbarics for all these off-label conditions, this is the class that teaches that. And right now it's the only class that teaches this type of hyperbarics in this way. And that's an actual certification course. Check out hbotusa.com and uh, right across the, the top, you'll see upcoming events. You can click on that and it'll show you uh, when our next courses are gonna be.